Right, part two of this Tech 453. After I posted the video last night, I thought um, I might pluck up some courage from somewhere and uh, try and apply power. Um, and before I did that, I did the obvious thing and checked the mains plug, which I'm glad I did because it had been wired up backwards. So over here in the UK, you've got the brown wire going to the live side which is fused within the plug and the blue lead goes to neutral and we've got a yellow and green wire which goes to earth and the uh, brown and blue wires have been transposed which um, is not the greatest really um, so I swapped those about, it had a 13 amp fuse in it as usual in within the plug changed that for a 3 amp fuse and um, plugged it through the lamp limiter and the bulb glowed extremely brightly and I thought oh my god this is not going to work um, and I just switched it off I tried it about three or four times to see what happened nothing um, so what I've done tonight I spent a whole day at work thinking about it <laughs> when I should be working and um, what I've done is I've come home and eventually plucked up some more courage out the courage bin and uh, applied full power to it and this is what you get. Now when that fan started up I nearly jumped out of my skin and quickly switched it off. There. Let me turn the light off. So as you can see we got um, both channels working the time base and just putting my finger on the scope probe here um, it all seems to work, it's a bit out of focus because I've just been fiddling with it Let's see if we can get that and you're probably not seeing it very well, there we go, that's just about right intensity there. probably looks worse in the camera than it does quite a nice sharp trace, there you go, it's on channel 1 and it all seems to work properly, sweep speeds work um, there's a few things on here, I don't know what exactly they do because I haven't read the manual why would I, I'm a man um, I've set up all the sweep lengths and position controls all work, the most basic things um, Yeah. It all seems to work within, you know, within itself. Um, I'm not sure what some of the specialised features do, but um, yeah, really happy. Um, I need to read up and find what to do about that noisy fan at the back there. Uh, it's an AC motor, and I don't know whether you can um, take it apart and oil the bearings or something. I need to read up on that but for five quid this has got real potential <laughs> real potential uh, I'm gonna put some uh, requests out for a case for it but yeah very happy hopefully you can see this through the video okay or the video camera okay and excuse the wobbling because I'm doing it handheld but yeah, it, um, it's got it on alt mode, channel 1 only, sorry that's channel 2, channel 1, there's my finger on the, yeah, very happy, just that motor. So more to come on this, um, one day maybe, I'm going to. Give, you know, take all the knobs off and give it a good old clean and obviously the inside I'll give a good clean because it must have been sucking dust in for the last 30 odd years or however old it is, 40 years I guess right um, thanks for watching <laughs>